I was in Uganda in um, a refugee camp. In this refugee camp was a woman. When they were living in Goma, they were attacked one night and 10 members of her family were killed and she ran with her children. Her husband was killed, her parents were killed. She ran with her children and as she ran and fled for safety, she was brutally raped so that by the time she got to the next country, Uganda, she needed to go into a hospital. They did surgery, it didn't work, she was paralyzed. Finally, she made it to this refugee camp. There she found trauma healing. And she was so traumatized by her experience, she couldn't even leave her house. She had total amnesia. She didn't know where she was. And through the trauma healing, little by little, she began to find healing from the pain of that experience. And um, the amusing story to me about this is that the pastors, the church leaders in that camp would come to this lady by night and say, we've heard you know how to help with trauma. Please help us, we don't know what to do. <laughs> so she had quite a ministry with the church leaders in that camp and continues on to help others. So it's a beautiful story of beauty out of ashes, really. The Trauma Healing Ministry began in 2001. That was the first time that we gathered a, a sort of an ad hoc group to begin to answer the question of, of how to help these pastors who were facing uh, trauma in their, in their communities. It spread organically for about nine years and went to many different countries. In 2010, ABS, American Bible Society, became the agents for the trauma healing work. This is really something that I could be a part of. I enjoyed it tremendously. And so I've, I've been an uh, advocate and a participant. You do not need a war to have trauma. There is trauma that goes on in the homes of people behind closed doors in the form of domestic abuse. There is trauma of sexual abuse. People who wanted to help refugees, but they themselves had experienced a lot of very difficult things in broken families, um, loss, accidents. And it was a very good experience to see that Jesus Christ can come in, renew, refresh, and rebuild things in my own heart where I was bitter and unforgiving, harboring hurts that I didn't even know of just from past experiences in my own life. All creation is groaning and I think we all are affected by the fall. We do not live in a perfect world, none of us. What is suffering all about? And the goal is always to make the materials and the program model easy for churches and organizations to use in their ministries with the goal of really helping people who are traumatized around the world. To make sure that people don't do more harm than good when they help someone who's been wounded. I'd like to invite you to attend the upcoming equipping session that is being organized by the Sower Institute for Biblical Discipleship. You will not regret coming. It'll be a good experience for you. You'll experience God, Bible, and fellowship community in new ways. We look forward to your participation.